Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Today I'm going to review and swatch some Elizabeth Arden products. Um, I went to an Elizabeth Arden event uh, late last year and they gave us a really generous goodie bag and inside were some makeup items. Uh, so I've got the beautiful colour bold liquid lipsticks and I have the beautiful colour bold defining 24 hour liquid eyeliners. Alright, I'm going to start with these bold liquid lipsticks. So in total there are nine shades in the range. There's nudes, pinks, reds, coral and a purple. I've got five here. I've got a nude, two pinks, a red and a purple shade. So you get to see like sort of a nice array of the shades that they offer. Um, I want to talk about the packaging because it's really, it's quite interesting. So essentially what you have is a pen form. You take the cap off and the applicator is like a flocked tip, essentially. It's in this sort of rounded teardrop shape or curved teardrop shape. Um, at the front here, you have a little lever and you simply push that up and it dispenses product. On the tip. One pump is enough to do one application. Um, essentially all you do is like swipe it over your lips. You will see it when I um, lip swatch these. I really like the dispensing mechanism. It's different. Um, typically with a pen form you'd have like a twist mechanism or like you would press the bottom. Um, I, I just I like this sort of different interesting sort of dispensing mechanism. The applicator is really really nice. Um, it looks kind of big and like it could potentially be difficult to use but the points and the curves and like that bottom teardrop shape it just makes applying it really easy. Like if you take the, the pointed tip and you sort of turn it to the inner corner of your mouth and swipe it in and then you rotate it the other way and swipe it in, you just get this perfect application. And then you just, you know, you have the tip facing upwards and you do your cupid's bow or your top lips, or top lips, yes, because we have multiple. You do the top lip. Um, it just, I don't know, it just works. It. I, I honestly thought that it would be a little bit too big and bulky, but it just works. And I don't have big lips. Like my lips are, you know, they're probably, borderline thin when it comes to like the average size of lips um, but I just found it really like easy to use and kind of it just I don't know it just works all right let's talk about the formula so essentially what they seem to be when when you first apply them they look like a super pigmented lip gloss very pigmented very glossy and if you apply it that way and wear it you will have that nice glossy shine for quite a long time um, they they really really do last they're not exceptionally sticky they're a little bit sticky but not uncomfortably um, I've worn them out on a windy day and my hair didn't like stick to my face um, they're very comfortable, they don't bleed, they do not feather, you do not need to wear a lip liner. The formula of these, if you want to use it as a lip gloss, is amazing. It's really like, it, it really surprised me. After you've been wearing these for a few hours, and yes, you will absolutely, most definitely get a few hours of wear out of these, they, they are really long wearing. Um, they they go from being this glossy finish to like a natural lipstick finish so it's not quite matte it's not really glossy it's something in between like what I'm wearing now um, for me because I'm not a super duper mega fan of a glossy lip what I like to do is sort of speed up that process of it becoming like this it's almost like a stain but it's not a stain because you can remove it at the end of the day um, what I do is I apply one pump to the bottom of my lip, one pump to the top lip, and I leave it for about five or ten minutes. I take a tissue and I blot. Takes away the glossiness, but it leaves all the colour there, and it just looks like a nice lipstick. 
and it wears so well. They wear, they do wear off, I find, when I'm eating. They do come off on like a coffee cup if I'm drinking coffee or, you know, drinking out of a bottle or whatever. Um, but they really hold onto the lips. Like they don't, even when you're eating and drinking, they don't fade a whole lot, just a little bit. And they don't fade badly. This product really surprised me. Um, I feel like Elizabeth Arden has kind of gone off my radar when it comes to makeup in the last few years. And this has brought it back. Now, when I was a little, Elizabeth Arden was like the brand in our house. It was a brand that my mum adored. And she had like a very wide variety of Elizabeth Arden products, but the one that sort of sparked my interest as a very, very little girl in beauty products was the little, they're like a, a biocellulose capsule and you twist the top off and squeeze the capsule and inside is a face serum. I remember seeing them when I was little in that beautiful clear jar with those little gold like pockets of amazingness and just being like I need to open all of them and mum's like don't you touch them they're so expensive but that seeing that that really interesting different like carrier product packaging dispensing mechanism it just like it was so exciting for me and that's what sparked my love of interesting and different beauty products this has totally reinforced that. If I would seen these on counter, I would have been like, really cool packaging, cool dispensing me mechanism, but mm, glossy lip, not my thing. Just not my thing. I'm not into a glossy lip. But having the opportunity to try it and seeing that these aren't just a glossy lip, seeing that they're a long-wearing normal lipstick, if that's what you want it to be, I'm just like, I need to keep a close eye on Elizabeth Arden because they are doing things that are interesting, but it's totally like going under my radar and I shouldn't let that happen. All right, so I'm going to do arm swatches and lip swatches of these beautiful color bold liquid lipsticks. And when I come back, I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Alright, final thoughts on the bold liquid lipsticks. If you're into a glossy lip that you want to actually last and have a beautiful vibrant colour, buy them. If you're into like a more natural, like not matte, not glossy finish, but you want it to last a long time and be comfortable, buy them. If you like a matte lip and a matte lip only, these don't go completely matte. So they're not going to quite be for you. But... Honestly, 
if you are a fan of Elizabeth Arden and you've been umming and ahhing over these, stop umming and ahhing, go and buy them. If you have never bought an Elizabeth Arden product, this could potentially be a really great place to start because these are really, really good lipsticks. Um, I just, wow, they surprised me. I'm, I'm still kind of, I'm shook. I will let you guys know these retail for 34 Australian dollars each. They are currently available online at elizabetharden.com.au and also at David Jones and Maya. So if you're interested, go check them out. Next up, eyeliners. These are the Bold Defining 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliners. Now, there's five in the range, I've got three. There is a black, a brown, a purple, a blue, and a green. I love me some colored eyeliners. Now, liquid eyeliner, I typically love liquid eyeliner. Sometimes if the formula is too runny, it's not good, they can bleed. Mostly what ruins a liquid eyeliner for me is actually the applicator. If it's a brush applicator, I just can't do it. If you put too much pressure on that brush and the hairs splay, it can totally ruin a look just like that. Um, so if it's a brush applicator, I'm just like, oh, I don't, I don't typically like it. Um, there are some exceptions to that rule, but in general, I'm not a fan. Now, this applicator is actually like, it's like a, a felt tip. It's extremely pointy. It's very thin. Uh, being a felt tip, it gives you that confidence that if you put too much pressure on the brush, you're not going to have little stray hairs like jutting out and putting color where you don't want it. I really love a razor sharp wing and that beautiful fine tip applicator really helps me to get the results that I like to get out of eyeliner application. So I love that. Now as for the formula, they claim uh, 24 hours of wear. You know, I haven't tested it out. I don't wear my makeup for 24 hours. I don't think I know anyone who does. but. I wouldn't probably, I wouldn't be surprised if someone tested it out and said yes, it wears for 24 hours. Um, this formula, I featured these in my December favourites and I kind of complained um, that they were really hard to remove and I discovered that this is actually like a tubing formula, so kind of like a tubing mascara where they're really difficult to remove with traditional makeup removal methods or products, but if you simply get them soaking wet with water, they will literally slide off. And that's what this formula is. So, took me a long time to work it out. Um, but typically what I do at the end of the day, I remove my makeup with like an oil or a micellar water or whatever I'm using at the time. And then before I do my final cleanse with like a foaming cleanser or a cream cleanser, I actually get my eyes really wet with water and then I just like sweep away whatever's left over. Um, so yes, I do think the formula is really long lasting. It's nicely pigmented. Um, the, the black, it doesn't set completely matte. So if you like a completely matte black eyeliner, this doesn't quite get there. It's more of like a, doesn't really have sheen, but it's not completely flat either. All right, let's get on to some really quick swatches of these and then I'm gonna wrap this review up. bold defining 24 hour liquid eyeliners. I really like these. They're very, very good. I love the applicator. The applicator is just, it's so good. It makes applying the product so easy. Um, the formula is very nice. You know, you've got your typical brown and black for people who like a more natural look. And then you've got your nice cool brights, blue, green, and purple. What, what more can you ask for? I reckon I might pick up the blue actually. It's, um, it's something I would like to have in my collection. 
Now, these eyeliners retail for $32 each. They're available online at elizabetharden.com.au and at David Jones and Maya stores. So, go check them out if you are interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.